they went from worst to first. Now John Farrell is coming out to talk with the home plate umpire, Jerry Davis. See, once again here, the Yankees, like a lot of teams, are shifted in the middle of an at-bat. After two strikes, Kelly Johnson went from third base to play the shift over and right. I think they're going to check Pineda. Remember, against the Red Sox, he had what looked like pine tar in his hand. Later said it was dirt. But Farrell is going out to check Pineda. Now they're checking his back. And they're throwing him out of the game. He went to his neck and he said there's something on his neck, so Pineda is being tossed. Now Farrell did not check it last time when Clay Buckholtz was the op opposite of the opposing pitcher. This time he does, and Pineda gets thrown out of the game. So it was on the side of his neck. It wasn't on his hand that time. And Jerry Davis checked it out and said, you're gone. Well, that's the rule. And uh, I have to go on a rant here, but it's the rule. And it's, it's illegal. You break the rule. You're not supposed to have any foreign substance if you do. But, you know, my position on that has been that I think the reason why, Michael, the reluctance of a John Farrell or anybody else is that many pitchers use something periodically through their career. I'm not saying every game to get a better grip. And I still don't understand that rule as to why that's a bad thing for a pitcher to have a better grip. We're not talking about altering the flight or the integrity of a pitch based on something that will enable a pitcher to have the ball slip out of his hand. Thus, a, a grease pitch or a spitball. Yeah, that's why there's a rosin bag. Rosin bag is useless. Mike, David, I don't know if you used it. In, in cold weather, it's powder. So you, you have a rosin bag on the mound to help a guy get a better grip. But yet, you're not supposed to have a better grip. Well, you started off what you said by saying it's against the rules. I, I get Why that. Why would you have it so apparent on your neck and the other time on his hand? Well, what do you do? It's clearly something's there on his neck, and they checked it out. Yeah. Why would you do that? You know it's against the rules. And you just had a major incident against this very same team, and you realize they were going to be looking. It, it makes no sense to me. I mean, we've yeah, talked... Yeah. We, we've talked about how everybody does it, but everybody hides it. This yep. was the last time. And then 